landed in Dallas and yeah. we are going to Nordstrom. Brooke has to pick up a pair of shoes naturally and then the trip will begin. If you told me I was in Tampa, Florida right now, I'd literally believe you because this looks like the Tampa Nordstrom. Obviously getting E-Bar because we have to. Guys, this literally tastes like high school in the best way. Wow, just got to our hotel, Hotel Swexon, I think it's called. Bondi Boost Balloons. I purposely didn't bring shampoo in hopes that they would provide. And oh my gosh, a bedazzled shampoo. Like it's the little things. Like, I mean, you guys know this is the shampoo I use. So it's very exciting for me. We've got our itinerary here. We are here with Bondi Boost to go to the Sabrina Carpenter concert tomorrow night in Dallas. I'm so excited. I love a good brand trip. And this is like perfect. Like we have a little getting ready outfit tomorrow because we're getting our hair and makeup done, which I'm also so pumped about. Sabrina Carpenter's perfume. I actually haven't smelled it before. Is this supposed to be like a candy bar? That's cute. It smells like a sweet treat. It smells really good. The bathroom is definitely my favorite though. I love how they took the shampoo and conditioner and stuff out and put Bondi Boost products in. I was hoping they would do that, but also Le Labo body products, yes. I can't wait to do like a full getting ready moment with all of these things. This is such a beautiful bathroom. And they came out, you guys know how much I love this round brush. They came out with a longer one for faster and sleeker styling. So I'm excited to try this out. These are like long, this is perfect for my extensions actually. So anyways, feeling very grateful. This bathroom is beautiful, this hotel is beautiful. So excited, I have, we have a few hours before dinner tonight with the rest of the group that's here. Brooke and I are on a mission though to get Tex-Mex, so we're just gonna like run somewhere next door and grab some. Oh my gosh, it puts me in the best mood. I am unpacking. I mean, there's not much to unpack. My outfit for tomorrow is so cute. Well, first I guess I have to worry about my outfit tonight. So tonight we just have welcome drinks and like light bites, I think. So that's why I had like a big old lunch. It was really good. I rented this top off of Pickle. It's from the brand Bucci. It's so cute and so flattering. It's like a corset moment. And then depending on how I feel, I'm either going to wear this maxi skirt with it or a pair of jeans. I brought both options because that's like two different moods, you know? I don't know. I kind of always wear jeans and a black top. Like it's so go-to. So I'm like, maybe I should go for the black maxi. And then my outfit, ah, I'm gonna wait for you guys to see my outfit for Sabrina tomorrow but it's really cute and it involves sequins and pink things and i mean i should just show you i mean come on i would have already posted on instagram by now i've had this prada tank top and i wanted to wear it again of course like look how fun this is so this is the tank and then i have this danielle Gizio skirt ah it looks so cute on and then with my pink prada heels that i got for like i was in the go live shows in the past and stuff so i think it's Perfect. Wow, am I so mad at myself. I should have brought my clip-in bangs to be, oh my God, that would have been so cute. Oh my God, should I just cut bangs? No, that would be crazy. But should I? No. But I'm gonna hang all this up. We're gonna play some music, get hype, and do makeup in that stunning bathroom. I don't know what part of Dallas we're in right now, but I think the American Airlines Arena, where the concert is tomorrow, is nearby. So whatever that means, is this like downtown? Like, I don't know anything. I've been listening to the Sabrina Carpenter set list on Spotify, of course, and I've decided what songs I'm the most excited about. Like, of course, the popular ones, like the big ones, but my two favorite songs from this album, this new album are Don't Smile. Don't smile because it happened, baby. Cry because it's over. Like, I think that's because, you know, the saying like, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And she literally says like the opposite. And then I also really like Slim Pickens because it's like a little country song kind of in a way. And then all the others, of course. And please, 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 an espresso and taste will be very therapeutic in an arena full of people that love that song. I'm just so excited, but that is a tomorrow thing. So we're gonna enjoy tonight.
just did my makeup. This brush from Bondi Boost, it has the bristle, like the soft bristles and like the plastic ones. It is running through my hair so nicely. I didn't know they had a brush like this and it's sparkly and I'm just really vibing with it right now. And this dry shampoo I'm also going to use because I literally washed my hair yesterday, but it's feeling greasy. I think it's because I accidentally put hair oil on my roots, which was so dumb, but nothing a little dry shampoo can't fix. Um, but I feel like the hair looks pretty good. So yeah, like I said, we just have light bites and drinks on the roof. I think it's on the roof. Um, I'm excited to see it. And it's an hour earlier here um, in Texas. So I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. Anyways, see you in a bit. We have the top and the skirt on. I'm vibing. Okay, I'm headed out the door. Here's the fit, I'm happy with it. Back to the room. That was so much fun. I don't think I really vlogged, but guys, they did a turndown service. I just love a turndown service so much. Like, since I was getting ready in my bathroom, everything was all crazy and they just tidied it up. Like, it's the little things. That was so nice. It was like, I've actually never. Oh, I just tried to FaceTime Ryan. I forgot it's an hour later there and he's like in bed with lights off. Like, that's ever stopped him from FaceTiming me. Anywho. Not Brooke texting me already. We literally just <laughs> feeling content. It's such a great group of girls. Got to see the Dallas gals. Kenzie's here, Macy's here, Jazz, Carly, Clara, Mary. I met some new people. It's been really nice. So we have a big day tomorrow. So Rita Carpenter, we're getting our hair and makeup done, like I said, but feeling good. And Brooke brought me Mr. Beast chocolates all the way from New York. I'm so, I think I should try one right now. morning everybody we are gonna head to the gym we're keeping up with this winter arc i'm really trying to be very disciplined with myself like even if you're traveling if you can make it work get some movement in so we're gonna go to the gym also the gym in this building looks or in this in this apartment in this hotel looks so nice there's like a sauna and everything i don't know if i should step in the sauna because i do have a fresh spray tan but like oh, it looks so beautiful maybe i'll like sit in there for like five minutes just to feel something but yeah i'm wearing this aloe set a skims tank and my plan is treadmill maybe some weights like maybe arms at least but treadmill for at least 30 minutes let's do it wow the gym was amazing i sat in the sauna for like 10 minutes just to feel something but like i didn't even sweat so, I mean, maybe a little bit, but I think I was telling my body, I was like, do not sweat. Um, but it was just very healing. And I just took the most amazing shower of my entire life because they have the shower, like, unhookable faucet that I used if I'm not trying to get my hair wet. But if you're trying to get your hair wet, they have the overhead one. I did want a little protein after I worked out. So, oh, got some eggs, avocado bacon, beautiful little french press decaf coffee like i'm in heaven this feels very emma chamberlain core <sighs> like i'm just in france right now i called and ordered my fancy latte and a croissant like <laughs> the room service gal that just walked in she's like oh my gosh is it your birthday i was like no what a brand trip but she was like oh are you going to Sabrina Carpenter Girls? I was like, yeah, because there's like a lot of us running around this hotel in the same outfits. I feel so grateful right now. Like, I, I love hotels. <laughs> I love hotels so much. Um, it's so good when I look yeah. at Wow, beautiful lunch. What's hey guys, I'm here with Kristen and I'm getting my makeup done. I'm so excited. Like, I hate doing my own. So this is really exciting. I really hate doing my own hair. I don't mind doing my makeup actually. Yeah but I love getting it done, so I'm really excited. Guys, I am obsessed with my makeup. See, I wish I could do this on myself. Like, I don't know right. what they put no, in the... They just do such a good job. Oh, let's okay, do it! We're in the lab. I love it. I love having rollers in, like, it's so fun. I mean, 
the glam is glamming hair is up in rollers until the very last second I'm about to change and then I'll take the hair out as the final thing. Just went for some voluminous curls. I feel like Sabrina would approve of that. I'm so upset I didn't bring my fake bangs. That would have been so fun. But yeah, today's just been so fun. Like I love, I've met so many new people on this trip. Like everyone's so nice and I've gotten to know everybody. It's gonna be a really great girl gang tonight for lack of a better word. Like I don't know how else to put it. Like it's just everyone's so cute and fun and everyone started getting dressed. Like it's so fun. Like this whole day has been getting ready and I feel so grateful for that. Like it's so fun. So anywho, I do need some caffeine, like not decaf. So I might raid the mini bar. They are, which is so nice. They're giving us espresso martinis, which is so Sabrina. But I think that would really set me off the edge as a non-caffeine drinker typically. So we're gonna go for an OG Coca-Cola and like not even drink the whole thing. We're taking everything out. I have no idea how to take out rollers, by the way. I'm just thinking about how Bridget would do it, required style. So like, I don't know. I probably should have just had them do it, but I wanted to leave with the rollers on and like let them soak, let them cook. This is so satisfying though. Oh, low. Wow. This brush. It's so good. I'm gonna brush through, which is always a little scary, but like, ah! Feeling good about it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'd say this is good. The lighting, I need to get lights that are like this for my bathroom at home because my bathroom at home is amazing. But this lighting, like I need to replicate this somehow because it's awesome. Let me use um, a little Bondi Boost. Fly away tamer. This thing is amazing. Yay. Hey, we are all ready. I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna go to Brooks room. We're gonna film a TikTok for girls on the go. And then we're gonna go up the roof. Or the, the, pen, the, the suite, whatever. Here's the final fits. I had a sparkly bag, but I'm afraid it's too big for American Airlines Stadium or Arena. They're like semi, or apparently they're chill, but I just like don't wanna risk it. Got the pink shoes, silver jewelry. I'm excited. Hi guys. Guys, I'm like, not, this is probably one of my favorite outfits you've ever oh worn. Oh my gosh, really? I yeah. I feel so costumey, but. No, I love wow, it. I'm this is like when, when you throw up in the middle of the night standing Mom, in the I hallway. <laughs> Mom, I twirl up. Um, okay, we're gonna go up now. We're just having a little yes. pregame. It's been really crazy. Great, wow. we were filming. Okay, yeah. We're on a job, guys. On a job. Here we go. <laughs> it's content time. Everyone's doing things. Oh wow, everyone looks so good. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Where's this outfit from? Coverman. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. I love it. Are you excited, Kat? Look at Kat's outfit. It's so cute. Are you guys excited? Yeah, I'm really excited because one of those really cool Gen Zers over there just covered them out. No, that's I definitely heard that too. It's really exciting when younger people compliment. Everyone looks so cute. I feel like I'm going to Eras right now. Like everyone's so cute. Carly. Aren't you supposed to be on stage right now, Macy? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're so humble. So we're all playing with the microphones right now. I'm so excited for the concert tonight. Please, please, but wait, why do I want to like sing with this tonight? It does something. I kind of feel like I could sing with this. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Here she is. Sabrina Carpenter.
real one and got us shirts. She got us the last two shirts. And I'm really excited about it. Did you have fun, Carly? So much fun. She's so hot. I have a crush on her. Okay. Brooke, did you have fun? I had a blast. I, there's so much to unpack. Like, that was such a, it was such a show, really. Like, Listen, I mean, you'll hear it next week. Yeah. Gals on the go. <laughs> The concert was amazing. I'm now going up to Jazz's room and we're gonna go out for a little bit, but I have an early flight, so we're just gonna go out for a little bit. Here we go, we're going to Millie. That's what the people say. Here we are. I brought my mic. I've never looked better. It's 12.30 a.m. Uh, after the concert, we went to a couple bars, a few of us, and it was so fun. And now, ooh. That is really hot. Brooke told me the chicken tenders are really good. And they smell good. Oh, so I guess there's no ketchup because that will be a problem. Um, I'm just packing because I do have to wake up at 6.45. And it is midnight, but it's fine. Um, it is a Wednesday night, so like we should have figured that the vibes weren't there. This is so hot. Oh, my God. But we had to do what we had to do. Mm. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> The only way to travel. Brooke said there is a Chick-fil-A by our gate and I said I'm on my way. So I got chicken minis, so did Brooke. Waiting for our flight to get here. Back to regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> I immediately got home, took a shower, threw my hair in some heatless curls because in just a few hours, I have my first Halloween event. Even though a lot of people celebrated Halloween last weekend, I am celebrating Halloween this weekend because those are the events that I had. So tonight, um, Kellyanne usually has like a big Halloween party. This year she's not. And then like a few days ago she was like, wait, should we like have a Halloween dinner? Like and dress up like <laughs> so funny. And I was like, honestly, I don't have plans. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I'll be drinking because we did, a group of us ended up going out last night after the concert, which no regrets, but like also had to get up at 6.45 this morning. So I am drinking an element for sure. It's like a couple's dinner tonight and I don't really know what the other girls are being. And I was trying to think of what Ryan and I could do. That's something that like neither of us have to go buy anything because I've been gone, whatever. And I thought of the perfect idea. I actually saw someone else did it and I was like, that's so funny. We're gonna be Pookie and Jet for a multitude of reasons. The biggest reason being Jet is a huge Georgia fan. They both are, but like Jet went to Georgia. We all know Ryan's lore with Georgia. So we went to Georgia if you guys didn't know, um, which if you don't know, you must. this must be the first video you're ever watching. Um, but anyway, so Ryan's gonna wear like a Georgia hat with like a preppy outfit of sorts. And I'm gonna wear a quintessential Pookie outfit and we're gonna see if they get it. So I don't know, it's kind of like, it's a good, I don't usually like doing costumes like this where it's easier to tell when they do like a TikTok sound, but we're, we ran out of time. Ryan's like, let's be cowboys. I'm like, we literally did that last weekend for fun to go to the cowboy bar. Like, I don't think we should. So anyways, I have some work to do and I think it's gonna be a work from bed situation. I'm gonna play some lo-fi music. I need to crack down, crack out some work and then we'll start getting ready. But I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. So I just threw my hair in these heatless curls for now. Okay, I was just watching some Pookie and Jet TikToks. Oh, there goes my Coca-Cola. And I was gonna go for, I have like cheetah pants, faux fur jacket, Chanel bag vibe, which I might still do, but then I saw this TikTok that I forgot about that. Outfit of the night, it's date night. Pookie is looking particularly amazing tonight. I would call this dress a happy dress. <laughs> Which is really funny, but you know what? The more I think about it, like the pink would be funnier for the TikTok, but in person, I feel like the faux fur coat, cheetah pants, like pookie energy might translate a little more, especially if Ryan's gonna wear like a suit with a Georgia hat. Like, I feel like it might go better with that because it's like all same color scheme, whereas this is like. Even though this is like a, I, I just can't even see the whole thing. I wore this dress to Girls on the Go live show. I think it was in Dallas, and I still love this dress so much. I love, I love a shoulder bag. All right, I think I just made my decision. So thanks. <laughs> okay, I've got it. First of all, I feel like this is a quintessential Pookie blowout. Like I just went to the dry bar in Atlanta. I put in these little heart earrings from Electric Picks because I feel like I have to do my lips still because I feel like they're so lovey dovey. I don't know, love. 
I decided to put on this dress because I mean, I just love it. It's so flattering. It's from Odd Muse. Lots of rings and then some little pumps. But I think these accessories will really pull it together, especially when I'm standing with Ryan. It should all make sense. Again, Kelly planned this a few days ago, so cut me some slack. My costume tomorrow was definitely more planned, but I think this is fun. It's very Ryan and I'm excited. With the Chanel, I don't have an Hermes, I don't have a Kelly, but this should do, I feel like. Of course, it's like 80 degrees in New York tonight, of course, but I like this. I like it a lot and I put a lip on, like I said, I can't wait to go get my jet now. <laughs> guys, we just had a very exciting moment. We literally just walked outside and someone goes, are you guys Pookie and Jet? Because Ryan like took off his Georgia hat. I was like, no, you have to wear it because then people will know what I am. <laughs> Yay. Oh, hi, I didn't mean okay, the flash. flash. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, What's your first name? Adriana. Adriana Strano, can you put your name here? And we got a cowgirl. I'm so obsessed. So cute. Kelly's got the, Sabrina's got the whole setup. And where's Landon? He's very cute again. So good. Oh wait, where's the cookies? Wow. Oh my God, wow. Are they like bats or no? They're just spooky. They look like spooky bat cookies. I need to take a picture of me getting them out of the oven. Oh, oh yeah, that's so Sabrina coated. Short and sweet. I love it. No, I love the bangs. Cute girl. Guys, the Empire State Building is a pumpkin tonight. Sabrina won't stop singing. She's obsessed. <laughs> Do you feel like a new person? Beg you don't embarrass me, motherfucker. <laughs> I love this alter ego for you, Sabrina. My name is Sabrina. It is not the morning, it is 1.22. I filmed AM Uncovered this morning. I filmed a really fun episode in Brooklyn. Um, you'll see it soon, go follow me on Instagram. And then I came home and I took off all my makeup and I got in bed and I've been nonverbal, just like dark room vibes. Springbone Kitchen. I saw a TikTok. You guys know I'm in my broth era about this immunity broth. I am not sick, but I could see a world in where you know, being in Dallas, Halloween party tonight, going to Indiana on Sunday, I could see that being a problem for my immune system. So I'm just getting ahead of it. And this is the immunity broth. And it's like chicken broth, garlic, ginger, and vitamin C, I believe. And I just need to try this. This girl that lives in New York posted and it went viral. She was like, if you feel sick, or not even if you don't like to try this. So I would like to try it. It's sealed in there, which I guess is good. I've had Springbone Kitchen before, but it was like something really healthy. And you guys know, like I like to eat healthy, but like I don't like to torture myself. So. so whatever I got from there last time was just really healthy. I could care less about it, but this, I'm gonna give it a go. It smells really good. Wow, that is so good. I also got, um, I got like a chicken and rice and beans bowl because that's what I do. But I'm going to get back in bed. I'm doing some work on my computer. I just like need to be in bed with the lights off. And I'm going to drink my broth. And then we party tonight. Just did my makeup. I tried to take extra time on it because it's Halloween. I am being Bubbles for Halloween. And Brooke is being Blossom. And Margot Ashtray is being Buttercup. So I'm excited. So I'm wearing a blue outfit. We like ordered everything on Amazon. And hopefully it's all gonna work. I've like tried on some of the pieces, not everything. I mean, we're all wearing like the color dress that we need and then like accessories. But so Brooke, I'm so excited to see her hair. Actually, she like just dyed her hair even more red because Blossom is red. So she, that's not why she dyed her hair red, but she knew she was dyeing her hair red. So this would be perfect timing. Did I even say this in the vlog? Like, I don't even know. We're being Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> I like can't remember anything this week with like, when I said what and what vlog and what podcast, like I don't even know, I cannot keep track this week because it's a very dynamic week, but um, and I'm Bubbles. So she has her hair in pigtails. 
So I'm either gonna do straight up pigtails or I was gonna do like half up, half down, two pigtails on the top and I have like blue bows or blue scrunchies. So we shall see, but I'm gonna eat my dinner. I feel so cutesy. I feel like Halloween, I'm always like trying to be like hot for whatever reason. I feel so cutesy. So everything is pretty much from Amazon. We've all got matching dresses. Actually, I don't think Margot's came in time the right size. So she has a different green dress. She's being buttercup. Socks, heels that I literally sprained my ankle on. So why am I wearing them? I don't know. And I forgot how cute Bubbles is. I just made this TikTok. Excuse me, Mr. Monster. Hold on. She's so cute. Like I used to love her. Excuse me, Mr. Monster. Um, I was wondering if you would uh, be so kind as to stop destroying Townsville. We like our town very, very much. And I would appreciate it if you would just leave. Pretty please with sugar lumps on top. Her voice is so cute. So we're gonna go make TikToks. I have to go now because we have to. Tonight is Katie Bilotti's big Halloween party. It's her third or fourth annual now. I mean, obviously. Can't go anywhere. Mario asked for a headband. She's being buttercup. And then Ryan's being a cowboy. Surprise, surprise. So I said, we can't just be like Ryan going to Nashville because he like wears cowboy hat a lot. So I'm bringing him my bolo tie and I told him to like tuck his shirt in and like do a little bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think Margo like has some stuff there, but I am gonna take a shot because it's what Danielle does. And you guys support me through that. Tonight's gonna be a dangerous night for sure. It's gonna be a night and a good night, a very fun night. And I'm excited for this little pregame. We're going to Margo's apartment for a little pregame. The lady's coming and some other friends are coming. What am I gonna chase with? Oh boy, what is my plan here? I need a plan. I was drinking like half of an element just to like hydrate for tonight. So I will chase with this, I forgot I had it, so. Cheers, happy Halloween. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that wasn't that easy that time. Whew. Happy Halloween, let's do it. And then we're on to other things this weekend. So I'm gonna really enjoy it tonight. Yeah. Hey Sue, Sorry, let me get that where's your megaphone? Happy Halloween. <laughs> so good. Yeah. We have Alphaba and Glenda. You guys look so cute. Obsessed, obsessed. Delaney, these are so good. I love it. Let's see Mason, obsessed. Thanks Margo. Remy Bader and Holly Batchelder's party now. No, I'm Wait, no, give give it to Mason, please. <laughs> For the love of God, give it to Alphaba. Ooh, Galinda. <laughs> chef, yes, chef. Last time we were here, they wouldn't let Ryan in because he had sweat shorts on. But he's got pants on today. Good job. Good morning, cowboy. Good morning. <laughs> We are going to breakfast squad. That's that. I can't get over how beautiful it is today. This looks so good. Look I'm at the excited to try that. Yum. <laughs> We've had the silliest morning. It's been so fun. We got back from the parties last night. We went from Katie's, like once it was kind of ending, we jumped over to Remy and Hallie's party and it was really fun. And then came back, got pizza, and Ryan and Ty stepped over. Ty is Ryan's friend, or my friend too, that um, lives in Georgia and he was here for work, so he stayed for the weekend. And uh, he's one of like my very best guy friends. I woke up this morning, he cleaned my whole kitchen, unloaded and reloaded my dishwasher. Like that, he was like, it's like a thank you for letting me sleep here. I'm like. Dude, you slept on my couch. Like, it was so, so sweet. Um, so then we all woke up and we walked over and got breakfast. And it was so, I just love like a good old 
debrief. That's the one thing about living alone. Sometimes, like, after a night out with everyone, it's, like, sad waking up the next morning because you have to, like, FaceTime people to debrief. But it was fun to, like, be with them and be silly. And the weather is unreal right now. And I went and got a coffee on the walk back. They're going to watch the Georgia game somewhere. I will be sitting this out because... I'm going to Eras, Indiana. Delaney called me a few weeks ago. I was like, all right, I am going to kick myself if I do not go see Taylor Swift. Like, will you go with me? And I was like, twist my arm. Twist my arm. Like, to see her, obviously, to go again will be amazing. But to see Delaney's reaction to it, it's going to be so special. And I'm really grateful that I'm able to afford to go again. It's definitely not a cheap ticket because we did not get them at face value, but um, thankfully Delaney's family lives there. She has some family that lives there, so we're gonna stay with them. And the flights weren't too bad. We just got the tickets yesterday, actually. We were like trying to wait for them to go down a little. But then I got nervous. I didn't want them to like go back up. So we ended up just getting them yesterday, but um, I have things to do today. I have to pack. We're gonna, so we're gonna go to night three of Indiana tomorrow night. I'm so, I can't believe it's happening. And, um, that's happening so we're gonna fly in tomorrow morning just because i knew last night was gonna be so fun i don't want to like not have fun last night or like reserve myself because i knew i was flying the next day so yeah, my apartment is like hot by the way so we decided to fly in the morning of which is risky for sure there's no rain or like it should be okay as long as we're not delayed i think we land at like noon i don't even know i just checked in for my flight and then we'll like go to her and uncle's house and get ready super fast and just go to Lucas Oil Stadium. I've actually been to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indiana because we went there for the national championship. So I'm very well versed on Indiana. Well, you guys know, I go to the Midwest every summer for a family reunion. We usually fly into Indianapolis. So there's a special place in my heart and I'm really excited. And we decided we're gonna be Reputation era. Every time I go, I'm like, I need to be Reputation. Cause it's like my two favorite um, albums are Reputation and Speak Now. Honestly, Fearless is right there too. But the first time I went, I dressed as Speak Now because I felt like it made sense for the times. So we're gonna be Reputation Era together. Delaney borrowed a set of mine that's like this red. Well, you'll see, you guys will see it. So I need to figure out my outfit. She knows what she's wearing. I do not know what I'm wearing. And I also wanna like touch up my tan. And I'm really excited. So we're gonna get ready today. We're gonna pack. I wanna clean and just like, I'll just have the Georgia game on here. And then tonight I might meet up with my friends again and like go to dinner but I just cannot be drinking today because we gotta be ready for Taylor. We gotta be clear for Taylor. So I'm I'm so excited, I'm so giddy. Delaney and I last night were like, I can't believe we're going to Taylor Swift. Like, it's just so exciting. So anyways, I'm gonna drink my coffee and we're gonna get to it. So I'm trying on potential Era's outfits and I feel like this is giving reputation. Delaney is wearing something like this in red and it's like a pant and top set. It's like a set that I wore to Stagecoach. And, but it also has like this um, reptile crocodile print on it. So it would go really well together. Or you could argue that I'm like mirror ball, but I'm trying to figure out like, I like it. It's honestly so comfortable. And I feel like it's very eras. I have all of these, where are they? All of these friendship bracelets that people have brought to live shows and just things I've collected. So I'm gonna bring slash wear those. But I feel like I need a little something more like some color. But the weather's actually not that cold there and Lucas Oil Stadium is indoors if I remember correctly. So I'm like, I didn't wanna buy anything for this cause I was like, I have stuff. I have stuff I can wear. I mean, I could add, I don't know, this is kind of crazy. I had this at the pickle store and then I asked for it back because I really like it. I mean, I could add this. Is this crazy? Let's see. Wait, I don't hate this. Oh my God, I don't, I don't hate it at all. It's so fun. Is it giving reputation or do I need black? Slash also need to figure out shoes because obviously boots are the correct move with this type of outfit, but that means like I'll be standing in boots the whole time. And I do feel like sneakers are the move, but then like what sneakers do I wear? I also am like, does this look like I'm going to a Georgia game day? <laughs> like, no, right? Is this just like a confused outfit? I have like combat boots, but I don't know. I want to still be like cutesy eras, but still badass reputation. I think we're on to something. I do think we're getting closer. This could, this very well could be what I wear. I just don't know what I wear for shoes. I fear I, like, the boots look really good with this. I just throw on my black cowboy boots. And I feel like, for eras, like, you know eras outfits. Like, I feel like this is giving for eras. 
I also just realized I'm gonna need a clear bag, which I obviously have. I don't hate this. Like, I don't. Are you ready for it? Am I, is this outfit like confusing though? I can't tell if I'm being delusional or not, but like, I really feel like this outfit is kind of eating, like for eras of it all. I mean, I have these little micro shorts that I've always wanted to wear with tights. I actually wore this tank to Eras London and I wore jeans and you guys ripped me apart. It wasn't enough. And I'm kind of obsessed. Like when else can I wear this outfit? Never. Of course it's like Eras Indiana. Like it's not like Eras Miami and I am staying with Delaney's family and they're gonna be like, what the fuck? But I do fear I'm like obsessed. I Or I could wear just a plain white tank, but like might as well add some more sparkle with the cow, like, and I just wanna see like how the, and the good thing is it's like a longer jacket so it's not as booty. It's definitely crazy. But like, when else am I gonna wear this outfit? And I feel so like, reputation, eras. I kind of love it. I think I just convinced myself I'm wearing this. Delaney says she loves it. And I was like, do you actually? Like I need, I said, I don't wanna get, I don't wanna like be delusional. And she said, I do maybe a black jacket instead. But the, there's two problems. I don't have a black jacket. Well, that's a lie, I probably do. I like this leather jacket because it's bigger and it kind of like offsets the micro shorts. And I thought the red was like reputation. I could text more people, but then it's scary. It's like, clearly I want to wear this outfit. You know, like when you send it to someone and they're like, yes, a love, maybe switch up the jacket and you're like, oh. And you're like overthinking everything. I do have this burgundy jacket. Is that reputation though? Maybe I'll get like one more opinion. Maybe I'll ask Cassidy, which is scary because she's a stylist, but I'll do it. We're gonna FaceTime her and get her. She's gonna, she'll be honest with me. Hello, I need your fashion advice. Tell me. Okay, I need you to tell me like actually if I, if this is like crazy. Okay. It's for eras and I want to be reputation. Okay. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. Do you like it? Delaney was like, ask another girl because I don't know. Cause I want to be reputation. And she was like, maybe do a black jacket. It's like micro shorts in Indiana. Is that crazy? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I don't look kooky. It's so cute. Yeah. So cute. I love the new short. I think it's even do a, a blazer too. I thought about a blazer. I didn't know if that was like too toned down. Or you could just do like a black leather jacket, but I think the red's fun. Well, she, that's why I'm asking, because Delaney was like, maybe you should do black, and I was like, oh. Try on the black and send me a photo. Okay, well, thank you so much. Sorry to interrupt your day. I just want to make sure I'm not, like, crazy off the, the, no. you would tell me, right? Like, you could tell me. Yeah, but try on the black and show me. Okay, okay, sounds good. Thank you. Love you. Have a good day. Okay, everyone wants me to wear black. Okay, so let's see what that means. I don't have a, no one likes the rat. Okay, I've got a black blazer. And then I have a black leather jacket. It's just not as um, oversized. I do know Colby has an oversized black blazer or black leather jacket. Okay, so if I wear this, my, my booty is out. Like it's out. I like it. I don't know, is this more toned down though? Okay, I have to send her a picture. This is like cropped. I mean, this is, this is cute too, for sure. And I have a sparkly tank. I'm just so scarred from people telling me I wasn't dressed up enough. I'm like, when I went to MetLife, I literally had sparkles in my hair. Okay, let's see. I'm going to send this to her. And then I'm going to try it on with a blazer. That was my initial thought, was doing a blazer. But then I was like, is that, like, random? I could say I'm the man. Like how Taylor Swift wears the blazer. I was actually thinking of being the man and wearing, like, a shirt with a tie. But I wanted to wear sparkles, so... I mean, this is cute too, but like, I would like actually wear this <laughs> with like a white tail. Like I would actually wear this like not to a concert cause I'm crazy. Okay, I'm gonna send more pictures their way. Cass definitely would tell me if I looked bad. So I do feel good about that. And Delaney's very real. So I'll keep you guys posted. We're making some progress. I'm so glad that no one likes the red. I don't know why I thought the red was like so good, but you know what, that's what it's all about. Okay guys, I think I decided this is gonna be my outfit. I actually feel really good in it. I feel good because there's tights. Hopefully Delaney's family isn't gonna be like, what the heck? But like it's eras. And I'll put the friendship bracelets on. No, this is cute. With a clear purse, giving. 
Um, I need to pick out some jewelry. I think, so I still need to unpack from Dallas. So we'll unpack and repack. All I have to do is pack this outfit. I'm gonna wear sweatshirt on the plane, of course, so everyone knows what I'm doing, because it's fun. That's like my favorite thing to do if I'm going to like a Georgia game too, like wearing the Georgia stuff so you can like, so hopefully there'll be other people wearing stuff. But you know, I feel so good in this, like I really do. And I'm excited about it. I just had Glam Squad come and curl my hair because Delaney and I are getting up super early tomorrow morning and we're gonna take the train to JFK because tomorrow's the New York City Marathon, which is so exciting, but like that just means lots of traffic because I'm pretty sure it's in the morning and that's when we were traveling. So we're gonna take the train. So I just wanted to have my hair done because then we're gonna land and we'll have a few hours to like hang with her family and like get ready and go. So um, I also, you guys just know I like getting my hair done, but yeah, I'm gonna brush out the curls and all. I'm just kind of leaving them. I also don't know, like maybe, I'll meet up with Ryan and Ty and some others tonight for dinner. But they're at the Georgia bar right now watching this god awful Georgia game. I don't know what's going on. It's like we beat Texas and now we're losing to Florida. I like this was not in the books really, this one. It's the second quarter. So it's about to be halftime and we're losing 10 to three. But it's okay, I still have faith. Also, me and Ryan just booked tickets to go to Athens. I didn't think I was going to Athens this year. But like, I can't go a fall without going to Athens. Ah, go, 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 keep going. Good job. So I will be at the Tennessee Georgia game in Athens and I'll be bouncing all around. I'll be at Polly's, I'll be out the places. We're going to the game. So if you see me, please say hi. If you see Ryan, I'm probably nearby. Ah, I'm so excited. I got Chipotle. I have no groceries and there's no point in getting some because I'm leaving tomorrow, but I, um, I get the same thing every time. I've got the same order since I was young, except I just recently switched over to getting a salad rather than a burrito bowl, but it's quite similar. It's just more lettuce than rice, I think. She's stunning. Something came over me that told me I needed to make cookies, so I immediately go puffed chocolate chip cookie dough because that's just what you do. I don't know, it just like felt right. I got the most random things. Like I got a scrub daddy. Like this happens when you go on go puff, you're like, I don't wanna order just one thing. So I got more coffee pods for, um, these are caffeinated for like Ryan and stuff, this scrub daddy. But then I forgot that I had seen that 7up came out with the Shirley Temple. I just did like a little trying it on TikTok. Guys, it tastes exactly like a Shirley Temple, like no edits, like, exactly like a Shirley Temple. And unfortunately, this is not like a prebiotic soda. So I know it's not that good for me, but it's a, it's truly a treat right now. Like if I'm ever craving a Shirley Temple, like this is it right here. Currently listening to this playlist called All Possible Surprise Songs, which I feel like is every song that's not in Eras. And I'm really enjoying it because I've listened to the Eras playlist so many times that I'm like, let me just get excited and see what could possibly happen. I love that she's doing the mashups now, honestly, because you get like four chances and like four different songs typically. And I've got my cookies in there. I've always wanted to do a time lapse and watch cookies being like actually bake and get flatter, but I'm sure I could just look it up on TikTok and someone else did it for me, so. <laughs> oh, I love this song so. You look me in the eye and told me you loved me. Were you just kidding? Watching okay. a... We've got Live blue. right now. She's about to do surprise songs. We've got karma to me. I'm so excited to see what song nice. she's doing. I also made a little wish list of like what songs I would like tomorrow, just for fun, because Delaney made one, so I was like, I'll make one and I'll read it to you guys after this once I see what she does. So far, it's been a mashup of Prophecy and This Love, which is really lovely. And I am going to read you guys my surprise song wish list. It's kind of all over the place, but here goes. Last Kiss, New Year's Day, New Romantics. That would be so fun because that's like a song that Delaney and I both love like together. I feel like we always talk about it. So that would be special for our friendship. Hey Steven is one of my favorite songs from Speak Now. 15 and Breathe. Oh, and like that's the, or um, Forever and Always. I was listening to that today and I was like, ooh, I would like that. So that's my list. And I just realized, I'm like, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. It's already 1040. But at some time tonight, the clocks are going back an hour. 
So it's going to feel a little bit later than it actually is when I wake up tomorrow morning. So that's good. Delaney and I made a plan. I'm going to go to her and then we're going to take the train together to JFK because of all the traffic that will be from the New York Marathon. And I just don't want to do it alone. So I'm like, I'll come to you and then we'll do it together. <laughs> good morning. It's not even 7 a.m. But it feels so bright out because of the time change. We are all packed and ready to head to the airport. I've got my sweatshirt on. I put on all my friendship bracelets. I'm gonna give some to Delaney though because she does not have any. Um, but feeling feeling stacked. It's, you guys are the best. Like so many of these are from you guys who came to Gals on the Go live shows. So I love you and I think about you every time I look at my wrist. And then a few I got like, there's one from MetLife. There's one, this one says Cruel Summer. Um, there's one that says all too well that someone gave me at a concert, which is really sweet. Anyways, we're gonna head out. Oh, earrings, I need earrings. Okay, now we are ready to complete the airport look. I'm so excited. I'm headed to Delaney's and then we're gonna take the train there. It's also just an exciting morning because I know so many people are running the marathon. Um, but yeah, the rest of the Taylor vlog is going to be on my phone because I know that I'm not going to bring my camera into the, in the arena or the stadium and it's going to be a on the go type of day. So it's transferring to my phone. Got our bracelets, got my girl, we're going. I'm so excited, we're waiting for the train right now. Delaney is getting McDonald's for breakfast. I got a, a sandwich from somewhere else and I'm on the hunt for a decaf coffee. There's like no decaf coffee in JFK airport. What is going on? So, but I'm getting excited. We've made it and we stopped by a yummy cafe. We're loading up for tonight. Okay, it's time to start getting ready. And we're really excited. Okay, we've been chilling and now we've just gotten ready. I just packed my clear bag with all of the essentials. Okay guys, we are all ready. Delaney and I just filmed actually a thousand TikToks. It's nice when you have lots of time to get ready. So tank top is the Attico. Shorts are from Revolve and they're they're short. Um, that's why we're wearing tights. But you know what I was thinking about? Like, Taylor Swift wears a whole freaking thing like this on stage, thousands of people. So, and then this leather jacket is Lamarck. Boots are Dolce Vita. And my earrings are retro fed. Rare Beauty sent them to me a while ago. DC, like how fun. Um, and then just kind of updated the curls and we're good to go. I'm so excited. Everyone looks so cute. Delaney's in line getting us cocktails. I'm getting us hot dogs to eat while we're in line for cocktails. Okay, update. We got our drinks and we are people watching. We were like, we could go in or we could like just take it all in. It's like an hour though. So. It's still an hour. Well, eventually we're gonna go in. But it's just been really fun to like, I love like, we're see. watching all the outfits. All the friendship bracelet trading. Yes, it's so fun. And they have, they like named a ton of things after Taylor Swift stuff. They have Fearless Fries, a Lavender Haze Lemonade that I guess is sold out. It's sold out. Yeah. Still, Delaney was going to get it. But we've got our our drinks here. We had our hot dogs and we're, we're ready. We're ready for you, Taylor. <laughs>
just take a wild guess and see what happens. And I kind of know if I've done well if you sing along. So wish me luck. such a quick trip. I got back a couple hours ago, had a Zoom meeting, and I've just been sitting here getting work done, watching or listening to cozy cabin ambiance um, on YouTube. <laughs> I am just, what a week. And definitely not all my weeks look like this, but I am very grateful that some of my weeks do look like this. And it was just such a fun time getting to see Sabrina, Taylor, Halloween, being surrounded by such amazing friends. I'm really grateful and I am so grateful for you guys. I met so many of you last night at the Taylor Swift concert. So thank you for saying hello. I was really happy I ended up wearing that outfit. I felt really good in it. Like honestly, it was such a vibe. I got so many compliments on it. And overall, great. We got home from the show last night. We just kept watching videos of like videos we took. Honestly, I was pretty present last night. I didn't take as many videos. So it was really nice just to like soak it all in with Delaney. And I did not realize this. I knew obviously Delaney hadn't been to ARES, but I didn't realize she has never seen Taylor Swift live ever, ever. Never, ever, ever has she seen Taylor Swift live. So that was really special. Like literally as the, about, as the concert was about to start, she was like, you know, oh, and it's so crazy because I've never seen her live. I was like, what? Like, I, this is even more important. So it was really, really, really special. And I'm really glad we got to do that. So yeah, that I just wanted to kind of tie it all in a bow. That ends the vlog. It was so fun. Um, I had fun taking you guys along with me. And I'll see you guys next time for a, another video very soon. Mwah, love you.